Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer the Entertainment District Arc episode number 10 reaction. Okay, the previous episode um the fight continues. Um Inosuke, uh, Zenitsu and uh, Tanjiro Tengen uh, uh Hina uh, Hinatsu kind of came and helped us a little bit but uh she kind of fell into like a uh, problematic situation because she was defenseless uh, Tanjiro had to come and like you know help her out because Tengen was uh, involved with um, Yutaro and we got a little flashback as to what Hinatsu like you know thought what they should do after like you know dis like you know killing one of the um, uh, upper moons she like she said like we should like you know stop this like you know demon slaying thing and we should just leave peacefully in some place you know like all together so that was like her dream uh and now we're like fighting one of the upper moons and yeah this is happening like but it's it's like obviously the the fight is extremely difficult and uh, here we see like uh, inosuke coming up with a plan where she, uh, he's like you know what not inosuke sorry the zenitsu zenitsu came up with a plan i think yeah uh, that Inosuke will go ahead while both of them Tanjiro and uh, Zenitsu will protect him which sounds all well and good uh, while Tengen like you know fights Gyutaro uh, after defeating uh, Daki uh, they're going to take on Gyutaro together like which was a solid plan they like you know do that try to like you know uh, carry it out it works well um, Inosuke cuts off Daki's head takes a head runs away but unfortunately, Gyutaro was too strong to be just like, you know, like stalled. Um, Gyutaro and, and obviously like Tengen was also like, you know, uh, like the poison was also within Tengen. She, he was, you know, losing his strength as time went on. So now in the end, we see Tengen just like, you know, fallen on the ground. His hand has been cut off. One of his hand is just like, you know, cut off, decapitated. And um, now another thing happened um inosuke inosuke got stabbed by gyutaro with his sickle and like tanjiro is not able to fight only zenitsu i think is kind of in still a proper like you know uh fighting uh position so now i don't know what's going to happen like ines goes sleeping tengen's down everyone's down like so oh my god like like in the end we see like in tanjiro falling and yeah let's see what happens like i'm not sure how this is going to go uh, like i feel like the only thing only one who can do something about this is tanjiro or nezuko because they have if they are able to tap into that power but they don't have enough uh, strength to pull that off so let's see uh, anyways this is episode number 10 of uh demon slayer the entertainment district Town. so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time i hear sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy, I'm I'm more concerned about Inosuke. Ah. <sighs> All right, the opening, okay. Hmm. boy like uh what can even happen in this situation i don't think tengen is like you know at least waking up currently like he is has lost a lot of blood and poison is seeping in i don't know i feel like tanjiro is going to do something i i have no idea how this is going to go it, it seems impossible 
but let's see like <laughs> the enemies are not even injured like what are we supposed to do like we sustain so many injuries and whatever injury we sustain on them they just you know, in a second it just heals up like huh, like what all right okay let's see never give up all right tanjiro is going to do something there you go that answers my question <laughs> All right, he's here again. Oh wait, that's Nezuko. Damn, like hearing Nezuko's voice is Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, she became uh, her, her nails. <laughs> nails because voice actor got <laughs> a little bit of, <laughs> you know, ah. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god. Wait, where are they? What the? Where's everyone? I'm talking about Zenitsu and... I'm pretty sure they were like they were wait what oh okay oh there she is i was like where is she mm -hmm. jump scares wow she's just sitting there Wait, Zenitsu. Oh my god. Okay, there he is. Oh my god. Oh god. What? Yeah. It's getting... Oh boy. Yeah, impossible. How? Ah, oh, well. How dare you? Are you stupid? You just said that she's a... Okay. Oh, 
Oh my god, yo! What the hell? Alright, this guy's getting a bit too cocky, I think. What the? Oh my god, okay. Just, I don't know, poke his eyes out or something. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this, this is the best decision, I guess, for now. Okay. I don't think so. I think he's probably taking Nezuko somewhere safe so that he can come back or something. I don't know. Let's see. Oh my god! Yo! What's up with the sudden. Oh my god, he's just. Hmm. What is he planning? I, I, oh boy, I think he's just trying to get away. Yeah, that's basically like, uh, what? Wait, what's that? Wait, what is that? Oh, be pebbles? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, Kind of opposite to Ducky, isn't it? Oh. Um. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. oh my god what is he supposed to do here like what ah Oh, wait, he's... What? Whoa! No, wait, what? What was he waiting for? Damn, his head! So strong! Wait, what? Oh, the p wait, where, when did this? Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, all right, makes sense. Oh my God. Okay, come on, yes! Yes, you got him! Okay! Okay, come on! Alright, Ducky, where's Ducky? Get, get her, get her head off! Oh my god. You need to do that quickly, otherwise he'll just regenerate his head. Like nothing. Okay, flashback. Oh, I thought it was Ducky's flashback, never mind. I thought we were going to get their story. Oh no, wait. What? 
Wait, his head is not off still. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But... Oh my god, okay, come on, oh no, the head is still not off, I thought he got him. No, he did not. Ah, yes! Yes, yes, I was waiting for, okay, there you go, Zenitsu. Yes, okay, get Daki's head as well. Yes. Okay, that is a lot easier to fight. So Oh, yes. Yo. <laughs> my god. Yo, look at that. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Yo. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Same time, you need to cut it off almost at the same time. Okay. Ah. Oh. My god, I'm feeling uncomfortable looking at his fingers. Oh no, he got it out. No. Come on, anyone, anyone, anyone can help? Um. Uh, Dengen? Is he still, oh my god. No, oh god, no. Ah. Uh. Oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, this is bad. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh, yes. I was just saying, like, dang it. I'm, I'm sure I was. Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay. Well, obviously, he wasn't dead. He uses muscles to force his Oh! Damn! Wait, how did he get his hand? No, wait. What? Oh! Yes! Wow! <laughs> Okay, there you go. His hand is not there. Okay. All right. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. 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 Oh. Ho, ho. My god, look at this. Ooh. Wow. Okay, yeah, they went all out. The animation. What is this? Oh! My god. My god, look. Okay. <laughs> and 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 he's keeping up. Okay, good. Ah. 
Yeah, the, the string, the string, you need to watch, see the string. As soon as the string comes in. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh! No! Oh no! Oh my god! Okay, now, yeah, now we need to just slash it off. Ah, it, the, the way it goes. Wait, what? Wait, how? It kind of... Wow! Oh my god! Yeah, he's unlocking some new power or something. I don't know. Yeah, okay. A little bit more. Yes! A little bit more. No, 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 no. Duck is... I'm, I'm sure Duck is going to... Okay, okay. Oh god. Come on, Zenitsu! Inosuke, is he going to come up? I don't think... There he is! Oh my god, I was just saying. Oh, maybe it missed the vitals. Yes, it missed the vitals. Okay, yes! Yes! Okay, a little bit. <sighs> there you go! The string, it's it's gone. Okay, both of both of the heads are gone. Yes, okay. Game over. Game over. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. This is the end. My god. Okay, thank god he's not serious. Oh boy! <coughs> I really hope this is the end. What? Yo! <laughs> what? What? Oh my god. Oh yeah, the poison! Shinobu, we need Shinobu here! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Run, this isn't over. Wait, what? Wait, what? Run? Wait, is it gonna blow up or something? What's happening? Oh my god! Okay. It blew up. Okay. Oh no, it's going to end it like this. Wait, we didn't get any backstory of Yutaro and Daki? Like, I was expecting some back- or maybe in the next episode.
Wow, it's like all the things are just <coughs> raining from the sky. I'm pretty sure I saw Tengen grabbing Tanjiro and like you know just dashing out. Okay. Oh damn, that's how it ends. Um no. From your mother, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, good to know. <laughs> All right, okay, this episode, um, yeah, hopefully, this is the end of Yutaro and Daki uh it probably is like what else do you you know what else is, can happen even in this situation all right so here in this episode uh in the beginning we see obviously like you know tanjiro is just not able to do anything he just fell down and no strength nothing left and <clears throat> a little thing that the, the thing that happens you know like uh in that snowy mountain i, I think it's like the inner uh inner inner what do you call it inner space of his where he kind of goes most of the time when we kind of become unconscious and stuff so then nezuko kind of like you know uh speaks to him and he gets up and he realizes that yeah i need to get out of here and you know see if anyone's like gonna <coughs> i can find anyone who is alive and well and you know like let's see whether where's gyutaro what's happening while he was thinking all of this Yudaro comes in and starts trash talking him just like um you know um <laughs> whenever in a <laughs> online game gaming session you you've defeated someone and you're like ah look at this you know start trash talking the other person and <laughs> lower your guard that's basically what was happening now i do realize that Gyutaro was probably just you know kind of just standing there and just uh insulting Tanjiro and everyone because they this is probably something which has some uh connection to his past i'm i'm talking about this whole situation of being weak or whatever and this like you know he said something about i like people who are um what did he say yeah weak worthless um so, so, something like that you know like uh like not perfect not like you know he said something like that which is obviously completely opposite than daki now you know what this made me realize it's kind of sad if you think about it <laughs> he, <lo> <coughs> he said that i love like these kind of type of things which would kind of show that his sister is lacking in something that's probably like obviously she is her like you know her, his sister that's why she he loves her that's another thing completely different but i feel like the affection there is a part of him which is affectionate towards daki because she is imperfect and uh, it's kind of interesting if you think about it like probably for daki you know there's also a part of daki which has like which which is affectionate towards her brother because in i'm guessing in daki's eyes gyutaro is probably perfect so interesting to think about like you know both of them are opposite and completely like you know the personality but 
you know at the same time they are kind of like you know <coughs> doing stuff together and just helping each other out just because of their personality and their thing i'm not saying that like you know the reason behind like you know yutaro helping daki is because she's imperfect no i'm not saying that <coughs> i'm saying there's a part of him most probably which is kind of because of that you know like this is just my guess you know this is just something i'm i'm like and i just thought like you know like because obviously for daki um i'm guessing like you know the, his, her big brother is like perfect and like you know like helps her out and everything that's why in her eyes i'm guessing she probably extremely respects him and some and like you know like just looks up to him and that's why like since she is someone who uh likes perfection she like and there's probably a part of her that adores uh gyutaro because of that vice versa for gyutaro where she, he adores imperfection and that's why you know like she, there's a part of him that's probably adores um daki's imperfection as well i'm calling that da daki imperfect because there are a few things about her which i saw which are kind of like you know weird like she she kind of is like uh like you know a little bit slow to understand stuff you know like a little bit stupid i can like if i like i have to call her that you know, a little bit you know and there's a few parts of him which kind of makes me think that yeah she like you know she probably hinders jiutaro a lot but still he still kind of like you know loves her because she's her sister and as well uh, as because he adores imperfection so that's why you know i'm saying like daki is imperfect uh i wouldn't have called daki imperfect if gyutaro never came uh, like if gyutaro never came because daki herself was extremely strong when we saw her all alone you know when we fought her she was like extremely strong i was like my god like look at this um from the upper moons so strong but then when we see tengen coming in and tengen just saying that oh you're weak it's impossible you're a um, upper hush uh, no sorry upper moon and that's when gyutaro comes out and that's when the comparison starts you know that's when i realized like oh daki is very like an extremely weaker than gyutaro and gyutaro is extremely strong and this kind of like you know brings out daki's imperfections or weaknesses you know because we start comparing daki with her, her brother and uh, <clears throat> that's when i realized that yeah the the things like you know like gyutaro is even more like you know what can i say like capable than daki and it 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 just like you know makes me realize not me only i'm sure everyone makes everyone realize that yeah like the how how much the upper moon strength are like it it took so many people to actually defeat them like my god like, everyone's just almost dying and yeah but anyway that's just my like you know like i, I kind of uh, observed this and i think that's probably something the imperfection and perfection both of them they kind of look at them in different ways and <clears throat> now like now here's the thing um perfection and imperfection is something which is subjective you know like one person might say like oh this is okay and another person might say that oh no this is lacking so that's also another thing you know um for example here we can see uh yutaro when he was uh mocking tanjiro he was like oh you're weak you know you cannot do anything like you know who is that is that your sister you know older or younger uh younger haha -ha. you're supposed to uh you like, know protect her no, you can't do anything you know like aren't you ashamed to be a big brother this and that he was just like you know trash talking him and um <clears throat> like so for him this is imperfection you know uh imperfection is that since he being the big brother is unable to do anything to protect the younger uh, sibling that's imperfection in gyutaro's eyes and <coughs> that's what i said like you know like that's like his way of judging someone who is perfect or imperfect now let me just go to that part where he like you know talks about this where is that is it here or is it later on okay yeah here we go i i've never seen anyone as disgraceful as you um no it's later than okay it's a little bit later on okay uh let's go one by one 
all right so here he starts like you know all of these like you know kind of mocking tanjiro and everything tanjiro grabs the um, box with nezuko in it and starts running runs away and i was thinking he was probably going to like you know keep nezuko somewhere and then come back or something i was thinking like that but obviously it's impossible because guta is a lost quicker so yeah so there was another plan that was tanjiro was actually thinking about which we get to know a little bit late later on but okay so here tanjiro kind of falls down again hmm? yutaro comes in and this part yeah this part is where he talks about um disgraceful yeah or imperfection he didn't say he doesn't say perfection or imperfection like that but he kind of says uh, something similar to that here here it is as disgraceful as you are i don't dislike you um because i here you go because i like anything that's pathetic disgraceful and filthy there you go this one i'm i'm kind of like you know like kind of uh, putting all of them together and co calling it imperfection uh, this is what he actually said pathetic disgraceful and filthy uh the filthy scar on your forehead now here again like you know up until now he was just talking about how he is weak you know how he's unable to protect his sister which makes him disgraceful and you know like uh imperfect if you can call it like that and um <clears throat> now he kind of shifts to the outer appearance he says this scar on your fo uh, this filthy scar on your forehead i like it i think i'm getting attached to it yeah so that's basically it like he so he's basically that he whenever he sees something which is um what do you call it as he said disgraceful pathetic filthy according to his like you know senses moral senses or whatever the way he looks at the world um he i guess he feels attached to it or something like that like um it's weird if you call it sympathy it's not sympathy it's basically uh yeah something like that pity sympathy you can call it like that but a more um in a darker tone you know sympathy like uh you it's, it's a weird thing like sympathy and pity can be very positive as well you know like it's not always negative but for gyutaro i guess this thing where he adores these type of uh imperfection or like you know feel the disgusting these type of things that's that's a more in a more darker way it's it's pity or sympathy which is kind of like you know like obviously like because he, he's a demon like you know negative thoughts and everything is just spiraling inside of him probably most probably because of his past or something i'm sure we'll get to know his past his and her his sister's past probably in the next episode because they kind of did this before as well in, in demon slayer where uh the spider guy i, I don't remember the name but we get to see his past the next episode the episode he gets finished nothing is shown but the next episode we get to see his past so i'm sure we're going to get to know his past later on and i am pretty sure that's where we are going to get our answers why he's like this <clears throat> why he adores uh, disgusting filthy these type of things why does he get attached to them and why his sister is completely opposite his sister <coughs> Mm, adores perfection you know like someone who is good looking someone who is capable she she adores those type of things so the reason i'm pretty sure i'm I'm sure we're going to get to know that okay now here he like brings up the thing about oh you become a demon otherwise i'll kill your sister and uh, everyone else like it kind of says something like that that is like oh no brother you should not do that this and that i'm not i'm i'm, I'm not agreeing to that I disagree. <laughs> Guitar doesn't even listen to her. He's like, yeah. And then, like you know, Tanjiro <clears throat> uses, like you know, starts his plan, his his last effort to actually do something about this situation. Mm, he, when he headbutts him, now <laughs> the do kind of gives us an explanation about why his head is so strong. <laughs> probably because of genes <laughs> but yeah like i guess like you know that headbutt did work because obviously like you know even though he's a demon like you know his outer you know what do you call it his head and everything 
it's still the same, isn't it? I'm talking about Yutaro. So since Tanjiro's head is a bit stronger, I guess he was able to headbutt him into submission for a moment. <laughs> and he just headbutted him. Now, then he, he, he says that, oh, I cannot like, you know, get up. And then he realizes that his <clears throat> while he headbutted him, he also put the kunai in his leg uh, with the um, poison, which was obviously something that wouldn't work if, uh, you know, he did that while he was fighting. Uh, you know, because, but here since uh, Gyutaro uh, lowered his guard, I think that's why it worked so well, because, you know, like he lowered his guard, he was not expecting something like that. First of all, he gets headbutted, his head is spinning, probably, it's just, you know, like, it, 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 it's insane, like, it, head, like getting headbutted is insane, like, it's, it's just, it's the worst feeling. <laughs> So during that time, obviously, like, you know, he, he cannot make, like, you know, understand what's happening. He suddenly get headbutted and the kunai also got <clears throat> into his leg. Poison is seeping in. So that's probably why he, he wasn't able to do anything for a second. He just got paralyzed for a moment uh, because all of the, all of the, those things were happening at the same time. Tanjiro took advantage of that and used his sword and just slashed into his head. Now here I thought that he got his head. You know, he slashed it off, but it turns out no, he he almost got him. He just kind of it was like you know kind of uh, what can I say? Like it, it was just there. Like and you know, he wasn't able to completely cut it off. So <clears throat> now obviously Daki <coughs> realizes that yeah, this is a problem. He starts using she starts using her Obi to help her, her brother out, but um Zenitsu comes out and my god that first form godlike speed that was insane like the the flash of lightning just just going like that and <clears throat> yeah and i was i was thinking like okay maybe they are going to be able to defeat them here and like you know here but it did not work out so easily um, gyutaro got away with like you know like was able to get away from the sword and <clears throat> they start fighting Gyutaro and uh, Tanjiro and now here I was thinking like yeah most probably Tengen is going to come in otherwise I wasn't seeing any other way Tanjiro would be able to defeat Gyutaro it's, it's kind of impossible for him alone to defeat Gyutaro in this <clears throat> you know in, in, in this in this situation now we do get an explanation how uh, Tengen was able to get up um, he used so wait so he was basically faking his death at that moment to um, like you know to, to and waiting for a better opportunity I think that's what he was doing so he used his muscle to force his heart to stop making it seem as if he's dead and also like you know since he was able to stop his heart the poison also started f f flowing slowly because you know like blood it, it transports a poison so if the uh, heart is stopped it won't like you know it, it won't spread the poison so the poison was okay he was okay with the poison for that moment so that yeah makes sense i guess you know like that's how he was able to get up because it was not that he wasn't able to get up because he was injured it was that he was faking his injury not his completely like he's always injured like i'm not saying that i'm, I'm saying that he was faking his death so I guess that's why you know like when he he's he saw that yeah we are almost getting him uh then it's there is like you know almost getting um daki and here tanjiro is fighting yutaro he's like all right here here is my chance now to get him by surprise and take his head off so that's why he comes out and okay now here's one thing that he does i don't understand this part here um yutaro uses his uh, blood sickle or whatever and he wait he does he like transform them into music like here this part um score did he turn my blood demon art into a song and deflect it i think so i think that's what he did okay so that's like his um technique tengen's technique i guess uh okay and then like the amazing animation <laughs> Like that was that was a beautiful section of them just fighting just you know the the the, the slashes getting quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker and 
and Tanjir was keeping up. Tanjir was just waiting for that, like, you know, one situation where he would be able to get his head off. So, now, damn, like, this fight was insane. Like, Jyutaro kind of slashed Tengen's head a little bit, I think. Like, he kind of... Where is that part? Okay, here it is. I found that part. First, he kind of stabs him in the stomach. Tengen cuts off um, Gyutaro's hand. Oh yeah, he slashed here. I, I see. I can see that left side. Uh, the 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 thing, the the headband or th the metal thing. It obviously got broken, and from on top of his eyes, he got him. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, yeah and obviously after that Tanjir comes in he uses his sickle to get him here and obviously it was seeped in poison so the effect like you know the, the side effect would hit him after this and <clears throat> Tanjir gets his head now here's something that happens I don't know what that was probably some new power or something Tanjiro's scar expanded and it, it became like a pattern you know like a, a wavy pattern it became <clears throat> his hair started becoming like a fiery you know like thing it feel it felt as if his way hair was burning or something and okay so this this pretty much shows us that yeah there is something within tanjiro as well like he did say like oh that was just a burn mark i got when i injured myself who knows maybe it's something else or or i don't know like i'm sure there will be an explanation later on like why did he say that yeah that's just a burn mark I, I think he's probably misunderstanding something and that really is the mark otherwise what is this how how does this make sense if it's just a burn mark you know i'm, I'm pretty either he mistook that as a burn mark or something maybe he did burn her his head but maybe the scar was already there and the burn mark just start like you know kind of uh overlapped the actual mark or something that would make sense you know like he already had that mark obviously he was a child he did not remember that and then he kind of fell and burnt his head and that's why he thinks that oh this is just a burn mark this is not a birthmark but while the actual mark birthmark was probably like overlapped on top uh, underneath the burn mark or something that would kind of make sense you know who knows it's just like tanjiro has been misunderstanding because he was a child then obviously he wouldn't remember everything but anyways I'm, I'm sure we'll get to know the reason later on but yeah that that happens and um <clears throat> yuta was like okay wait let's uh like you know like it's not all over uh i need to save um daki so that you know like even if my head gets cut off like you know we don't die but in Daki's situation, Inosuke also comes in. Inosuke says that I... And here's, here's the reason why he says that like he was okay. He was able to shift his inter, inner, internal organs. Um, I don't know how he did that. Probably because of... Uh, he said like something about flexibility. Maybe he... I don't know. Maybe, maybe he just like, you know, kind of moved his muscles or something. So that the uh, inner organs were repositioned or something i don't know how he did that but that's why you know like his vitals got uh, did not get pierced which is good and for the poison he says that i am accustomed to poison because i have i was born in the not born but i i i, I am accustomed to the mountains and the forests i i'm that's why the, the poisons won't affect me that easily he says it doesn't affect him but he was kind of bleeding and everything obviously like he has such sustained injuries but he is still able to kind of get up and use that opportunity help zenitsu to cut off daki's head and at the same time tanjiro also like you know cuts off gyutaro's head as well both the heads kind of go and like you know it's kind of at the same place kind of starts rolling daki and gyutaro's head and now <sighs> Obviously, Tanjiro is unable, like, you know, the poison is seeping in. Tanjiro is just hyperventilating. 
and he's not able to understand what what's happening just like and everything's hazy he's like did i cut the head off or not tengen at first i thought tengen was like you know kind of uh, screaming like that because he like you know he thought that oh tanjiro is dying or something you know like that's why he was like screaming and like, but then i realized no he was screaming because of a different reason the body was going to blow up he's like run tanjiro and i, I don't know what happened in there i think i i saw him kind of grab tanjiro or something he says that run no 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 he did not grab him oh my god that's a mistake it just blew up oh boy ah, i don't know how what's going to happen but yeah it just blew up the whole place the blood and yeah that's it that was just it that's how it ended now as i said i'm I'm pretty sure they're going to show us their backstory yutaro and daki's backstory in the next episode or maybe in the, in the future one of the future episodes because because the way they kind of like you know gave us little hints and everything about their backstory kind of shows us that yeah we will get their backstory eventually you know like little bits and pieces of hints why they are like that you know um why like daki like you know loves people who are perfect while uh gyutaro likes or adores people who are not perfect this type of thing the reason behind it i'm pretty sure there is like a sad backstory behind that we'll see but uh, yeah that's how it ended there like the whole place just blew up now i think like obviously tengen i think tengen will be fine but i'm kind of thinking i was thinking what's going to happen to tanjiro like and what about nezuko where is she she was within that place like all these things so yeah let's see and uh, it would really help if shinobu and uh, the other demon corpse comes in because shinobu can i think like you know like extract the poison and everything so I really hope like everyone just comes in quickly. I'm pretty sure they would. They got already got notified because it's like a, this is a huge fire. Everything's like blowing up. So I'm sure they they got notified, and I'm I'm sure they're on their way or something. Uh, the demon cops I'm talking about. So yeah, and that's how it ends. So. Uh, the the major thing that happened in this episode is Tanjiro actually like becoming that thing like you know like the 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 mark kind of expanding his hair kind of like you know becoming like a fire like that thing and uh, thank God everyone is okay hopefully Tengen and uh, Inosuke and uh, I'm sure they'll be fine after this as well we'll see we'll have to wait for that and I really hope this is the end for uh, Daki and uh, Gyutaro. Like I do feel sad for them in a way because you know, as as uh, Tanjiro said that, like this is like us, like you know, like um, if Nezuko, if I also became a demon, I would probably it would probably be something like this, you know, like Daki and Yutaro, them they those two are brothers and sisters, they're demons, so it would probably be for me and Nezuko as well something like that, but the demon cops would take care of me at that moment, um but so that's why you know like it's kind of sad if you think about it because they're also like brothers and sisters the brother is trying to protect the sister the sister is trying to <coughs> help out the brother kind of similar to tanjiro and nezuko's relationship as well so it's just because you know both of them are actually working against humanity that you know like this is what's happening while tanjiro and nezuko they are working for the humans you know for the good the good while they're working for the evil so that's the basic difference between them otherwise everything's the same both of them so yeah anyways that's it so that was my reaction to episode 10 of demon slayer the entertainment district arc episode num uh, part 2 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah, that was it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Demon Slayer The Entertainment District Arc Part 2. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.